This lesson demonstrates the use of the deploy tool to deploy a bean to the server. This deploy tool comes with J2EE and will deploy beans to the reference server that comes with J2EE. If you're using a different server, you'll need to follow its documentation for deploying the bean. This lesson uses version 1.3 of J2EE and the deploy tool. There's a minor difference between it and version 1.4, and I'll point that out to you when we get there. Well, the layout of the window is a bit different between 1.3 and 1.4, but the difference is mostly cosmetic, and the procedure is basically the same. Make sure the server is running, and start the deploy tool. You get this splash screen for a few seconds, then the windows of the deploy tool itself come up. I like to expand it so I can get a better look at what's going on. As you can see from the list on the screen, there's nothing deployed in the server at this time. What we need to do is create an application, and then we will be able to deploy the bean into that application. This application can also contain servlets and JSPs, but we're just going to use it to hold a bean. Now I started the deployment in the right directory, so the directory name comes up in the prompt window. If yours doesn't, that's okay. Just browse for it, then enter the rest of the thing. At the very least, you'll have to enter the name of the application. Uh, don't worry about putting anything in this display name slot. It'll be automatically filled in for you as the name you put in the first slot. When you select OK, and your window should look like this, with a new application added to the screen. There's nothing in the application but a meta inf directory. It has some files in it, but they don't matter. They just uh, define application stuff. All we want to do is use it to hold the bean. Selecting Enterprise Bean from the menu brings up the Enterprise Bean Wizard. This first window just holds a list of things that need to be done by the wizard to deploy the bean. We're not going to do any of the optional stuff that's listed just the required stuff at the top, so let's move on to the next window. To deploy the bean, it must be included in a jar file, and it's the jar file that's deployed to the application. In this window, you select the application that's to hold the jar file. Here I'm just using the default, which is the name of the application that was just created in the display name of the jar file, which is EJB1. This jar file name will show up later in another window, but it doesn't mean much of anything unless you're adding several bean jars to the same application. Just use the default. But you have to tell it what you are going to put into the jar file. You see that the meta inf directory is already listed as being in the jar file. Your XML file is listed in here. You want to add your bean classes. Now you don't want the source, you just want the class files. Now the jar file content is complete. It's everything we need so we can get on to the next screen.